we don't want to be test buddies so we, we so it seems like it took two weeks to come up with a vaccine and says take it and we're going hold on a second it took a year to work that out it should, it should take about not even a year it should take up to a decade to work out a vaccine how we've done this in six months and how we're rolling this out and how we have all these companies all of a sudden got something in it how can i trust you and we watch programs like legend by will smith and we see people turn into zombies and we're like i don't want to yeah. yo i do not want in five years time i'm dropping off and i'm turning weird because i took the vaccine because it was untested and untried um and yeah. whatsoever so that's i know i don't know if you you obviously you must have heard that <laughs> I, i've heard i've heard i i interestingly i had similar concerns okay. which is why i then researched into it Sure. Affinity Extra, be extra. Hey guys, it's Roger Moore here on Affinity Extra. Um, I got a special one today for you guys. I am greening my teeth because this is the, the this is this is the uh, this is the the, the the question of all questions. The questions that I've avoided. The questions I've been told, Roger, don't touch it. Don't touch it because you know you can't feed our things off a WhatsApp uh, uh, message. And I've seen so many things on this okay. subject right now. And right about now, people are when they, when you say the word COVID nineteen, it sends people are you know, it literally really is a trigger you know and and um, we want to not be a trigger in this conversation we want people to be coming out of this conversation informed about whether you want to go the route of vaccines and your knowledge about covid and what the, what the virus is instead of being informed by a video or information or memes that will trigger us into in, into thinking different things you know what i'm saying so that's just where i'm at when it comes to to the whole uh, covid um, situation and uh, long with me today is dr joe yeah and um dr joe if you can just give us a bit of insight to your background in terms of health and first and foremost before getting any further i have to salute all the nhs staff you know you know publicly you know for absolutely crazy hours that he did before lockdown i mean the crazy hours that he did because of um the whole pandemic and i think that um it was a season when people really appreciated um people that worked every single day uh, throughout this pandemic and i know it pushed a lot of people so i want to say to the people that i know that work in national health that never stopped and never had furlough couldn't have a break had to battle through it um when no one knew what was going on had to still go out there and just that strain alone nothing but love bro nothing but love man so please explain to me sir um just your position your background when it comes to um health thanks very much for having me and no, no. Uh, thanks for the warm introduction so my name is joseph um joseph i'm a fuma i am a gp here in manchester um where god lives i am also <laughs> the pastor of chris community church mm -hmm. i have a special interest in mental health and I'm the mental health lead for my practice with about 12,000 patients. I'm also the mental health lead for the Caribbean and African Health Network, uh, where I help to facilitate um, health talks every Saturday. Ooh. So that's the brief about me. Oh, that's that, that, that's definitely, definitely, definitely great there, bro. You know, we, this mental health is something, like I said, it's been a big buzzword over the past two, three years, but it's been there all the time. You know what I mean? Three, four years ago, you go to me, Roger, do you, do you have mental health? I don't have mental health. What are you saying? I'm mad. <laughs> Nowadays, it's like, yeah, man, I got mental health, man. Yo, I know yeah. all about it. Everyone's expert, which is which is excellent. And we're just starting this, this journey of um um living with mental health that's a that's a that's an interesting um phrase I mean, sorry living with mental illness and different things so there's different things we'll be putting out there and we'll reach out to you um dr joe about it as well when we're doing our conversations on mental health as well so definitely sure. would like would love, sure. would love to talk to you but first and foremost right covid19 when yeah. when i'm going to allow you to describe what covid19 is from a from, from your perspective Okay, thanks uh, for thanks again for this question. The, it's the thing is what we need to understand is COVID is COVID nineteen is part of a group of viruses called the SARS viruses. Mm -hmm. So they're called the severe acute respiratory syndrome viruses. Uh, 
basically, if I'm going to put it in very simple terms, you have different types of bugs. Okay, you have bacteria that cause chest infections, pneumonias, etc. You have fungi that cause uh, athletes' food. Uh, they call thrush and things like that. Mm -hmm. Then you have viruses that can cause colds and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Now there are some viruses that have become more virulent, or in street terms, more badass mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these group of viruses called the SARS mm -hmm. are one of such viruses so COVID-19 is a, is a virus that particularly affects the respiratory system primarily cool so is it um because it because obviously people have not caused it cause that group SARS as well is that correct yes yeah yes. yeah so I've heard it referred to there and, it, and so it's not a very it's not a new it's not a new, it's not new to to no. the medical no. um, pr pr uh, profession it wasn't a new virus from last year no, no, there, there are different. There, see, the coronavirus has been particularly has been known for some time. So there is Corona. I think that the different uh, that this is why, why this is 19 is because there are coronavirus one, two, three up to 18. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, there are different types of coronaviruses. Okay. Many of them are harmless. OK, we've known about them for the last nine, 10 years. Let me put it in context. Because when I when I talk about COVID-19, mm. people tend to uh, the COVID-19 is just one of the many SARS viruses. Let me give you an example. The Middle Eastern Respiratory Virus, which is another SARS virus, mm -hmm. has a 35% fatality rate. In other words, nearly one in three people that get it will die from... It's it's basically, it's, it's a killer. Mm -hmm. COVID-19 is only one in... One in a hundred, if that, one in a thousand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The problem with COVID-19 mm -hmm. is that it's way more infectious than any right. other virus that we have seen so far. Oh. And I have been a doctor for 24, 23 years. Mm -hmm. And we've studied a lot about microbiology. This is one of the most infective viruses that we've ever had. That's what the problem is. That's interesting, actually. So that that's ultimately why this. It's not a case of. I'm not saying the word panic. That's why it's very important to to do your best to to minimize um, tran the transmission of it by you know be making precautions, not allowing it to to basically run riot. Absolutely, absolutely. You you got that spot on because people have asked me this question. Oh, you know, there's other things. You know, there's hepatitis B, there's HIV. Mm -hmm. Why, you know, there's even the the Middle Eastern respiratory virus. Why are we making so much of a fuss about COVID nineteen? Mm -hmm. Why we're making such a fuss mm -hmm. is because we haven't seen, and I literally mean we haven't seen any virus mm. in my lifetime at least yeah. since the Spanish flu in yeah. 1918. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. haven't seen any virus that is as bad in terms of infectivity yeah, as yeah. this. Mm -hmm. And so that is the big deal in terms of why we're making a lot of noise about it. Okay. So um one of the reasons. No, 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 no. This is this is good because I think that we're not gonna go into panic station questions straight away. We're just gonna break yeah. down and, and just take people yeah. so that, that, yeah. uh, a great journey. Now um a lot of people kind of raise things like um the Spanish flu and say, oh that wasn't that bad or you know it's not like it's not like they said it's not as bad as the black death that was going through europe and took out <laughs> a third of uh, a third of um the population uh, uh but what has been i know people there is a bit of a media frenzy when they looked at different things from a media perspective and people were very concerned about is it really um killing people or is it just a bad cold flying around the place and you mentioned about the fatality and whatsoever and yeah. you know because we catch flus and colds and there's bit you know what i mean people have missed people have said that listen the flu kills as many people as covid so what's going on and these are that's one of the rumors that fly around and obviously i don't have the f facts in front of myself um have yeah. you heard that and how have you responded to that yeah so very good very you raised a very important point so yeah no the flu is definitely different to the coronavirus there's two or three reasons why i say that mm -hmm. number one we know a lot about the flu mm -hmm. because we know a lot about the flu we've mm -hmm. developed a vaccine which people get every year 
Mm. That's the first thing. And also, the flu tends to be restricted to a certain cohort of people, a certain group of people. So mm. people who have vulnerable immunity, people who are over 65, etc., etc., etc. The peculiarity with the COVID-19 virus is that it doesn't seem to respect age, anything like that. It just you know it, it goes across different groups the other thing as well is it's unpredictability so you don't know who's going to get the severe illness mm. you don't know who's going to have the mild illness mm. uh, by the way as a disclosure i'll give you a few things i know you don't want us to get into the heavy stuff but let me jump in a little bit yeah let's go in. i had covid i had covid november last year caught covid wow. okay and it knocked me out so badly that i was off work for three weeks mm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. It, it felt like um, so I grew up in Africa in Nigeria mm. and you, we have this malaria uh, fever that you get from time yes. to time yeah, yeah. and you're knocked down for like two days yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. It, it felt like malaria fever for three weeks in a row yeah 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 and yeah. this is me who's you know who's relatively healthy I don't have any underlying health conditions mm. okay I'm a little bit obese <laughs> <laughs> uh, but other than that mm-hmm nothing at all mm. so the, the the and also the problem for me is that mm. you talked about why they panic okay one of the people that trains me one mm. of my trainers when i was uh, just joining the nhs mm. at the beginning of the pandemic lovely chap mm. 57 58 mm. he died wow we know people i can give you names um real statistics real people now mm. see in the spanish flu w- over 50 million people died <laughs> yeah that is a lot yeah. I, I don't yeah, know about yeah. you but i think that's a lot <laughs> that's, that's immense about me <laughs> it's mad it's a, mad isn't a, it that's it's a, crazy that's a, that's a high population country mate that, that's, yes that, that's that's a major thing absolutely major so uh, at the moment you know i think worldwide and i don't have the exact figures mm. it's just hovering around a couple of million something mm. like that mm. i know the us is really bad so mm. if you remove the us generally mm-hmm. it's been i mean in the uk we're looking at over 140,000 150,000 okay. something like that yeah. these are people's uncles mm. brothers yeah man yeah for real sisters mm-hmm. Um, I, I think for me, one is too many. Mm. Yeah, yeah. One no, is too, too many. many. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that one person, this particular guy. Now, I, I, I'm a little bit biased because this my my trainer guy. Mm. He was one of the nicest men. I'm not saying he's a saint. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the no, nicest nice guy, yeah. people you could ever meet. Mm-hmm. And he he just used to help us, us junior doctors back in the day. Mm. He was a really nice guy. He was an invaluable asset to the training program here in Manchester. I mean, to lose that, years of training, years of experience, such a lovely person. Um, And then there was, there's so many scattered all around the country as well. Mm. You know, people, I mean, just last uh, weekend, this weekend Mm. just gone by, we lost a bishop, a Ghanaian bishop. Mm-hmm. who didn't believe in covid he didn't believe in the vaccine oh, got covid died in the a and e this was a guy who mm-hmm. i mean i didn't know him personally mm-hmm. um, but everybody who knew him was like oh he's such a loss he was this he was that why does that have to happen when god i believe has given us an idea of what we can do or when there is an opportunity for us to get a job that will help us I, I i'm you know i'm a little bit sort of um baffled sometimes at people's reactions but yeah, yeah you know yeah, what yeah, i yeah. say to people yeah. you know what i say to people Roger, is that yeah. look, they haven't been at the eye of the storm they haven't mm. been at the forefront mm. and so you, you've not experienced firsthand when your colleagues are falling like flies yeah, some of them like never it. to rise again mm. So it's, so it's if, all, if, so it's, if we saw that firsthand, yeah, that trauma, that that absolute trauma of um, the front line, basically the front line aspect of it, the wooden, you yeah, would have a yeah. different perspective. You of, may of, have a different perspective to it. So it's not just the flu. No, no, no. Uh, uh, definitely, doc, Doctor, you 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 explain it quite quite, quite you know really well with that. Now, uh, no, I totally I totally hear what you're saying. So f- uh, for a lot of people, you know, um, especially um, in the Afro. Uh, african um, caribbean community now this is where the um the perfect storm happened you know effectively and the pandemic happened george floyd happened 
and then the whole yeah. historical dramas with the NHS all kicked off at the same time. And then they said, yeah. everyone come for the jab. And when you got you got you got trauma <laughs> of the past yeah. four or five hundred years of experimentation, go forward. Yeah. And we're like, this you go. Let me know in five years' time when you when you ain't got two eye um, um your eyes don't drop yeah. out and whatever that you call. Cool. Yeah? yeah. Now um I know it sounds kind of harsh enough and, 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 I, and I think that people kind of almost um, don't understand that whole process that we're going as a black community going forward um, trying to go forward at the same time having to take a major decision with us with a with a comp with a, a organization that is seen as 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 abusers as black people um mm -hmm. how do we how do we trust and I, I, I hear what you're saying and that's why I love this conversation because we're just having it no emotion let's talk the facts on the table you know what I mean yeah. um, and, and, that, and that's why the, the, the conversation is key history is history we can deal with that as we go along because it has to be healing this is not about wiping the slate and so many people says oh just wipe the slate and carry on and forget about it you can't forget about um, sisters that have died in ch childbirth because of they're five times more likely to die um, yeah. in the hands of of, of people because they're black it doesn't make sense but yeah. Yeah. The, the, the task at hand is covid now covid i've heard how would you no you 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 spoke about it graphically but some people actually like he says like that pastor there and i've seen it in churches are almost saying it's a load of it's just a load it's a it's a load of baloney i'm not wearing mm -hmm. no mask and i'll be straight i wear my mask <laughs> We're, we've all oh, without yeah. we've all without the the, the the guidelines i'm wearing it and i'm like the odd one out in church yeah i'll be yeah. honest with you bro I'm, I'm the odd people look at me are you mad you know what i'm saying uh uh and, and they're not they're not saying it but they i know i can see in the eyes why is this guy and i've got one of these masks that cover almost my whole face and i'm like this is this is just me and i'm i'm taking precautions um how can we communicate uh, because people don't believe it's real, um, um, doctor, you know, um, and, and, and I'm here what you're saying, but it's like, we see so much WhatsApp messages. Now, how do we decipher what's truth? Now, I got a message yesterday and I know the power of WhatsApp and I uh, know power yeah. of people and, and lingo. Yeah. So, but the thing is, apparently, I don't know if you've seen it, the, the British health um um society has basically turned around and said um the new strain isn't as bad as what they thought it would be and just yeah. just basically kind of like also that the vaccine itself has lowered people's immunity yeah um that's what they hear that's what it's saying in in, in a report that's done by um, a medical um, snow now this is what everyone's throwing at me yo ask him that question ask him a question about how people's immunity has been affected and i'm like okay 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 i will i will i will, I will, I will. but is that a, um um is that something that is a, a, a fact or is still something that we're learning so there's two questions in that and, okay go. you know let's 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 go to the initial bit in terms of the issue of trust mm -hmm. it's very interesting because before just around the beginning of COVID, before COVID actually hit, mm. I was part of a steering committee where mm. we're looking at black, black health improvement mm. because we do know that there's inequalities in the system. Mm -hmm. We know that there's maternity inequalities. Women who go to give birth are you know, four, four or five times more likely to have an adverse outcome. Mm -hmm. we, we are more likely in our communities to have stillborns. Mm -hmm. uh, we're three times or four times more likely to have kidney problems. Mm -hmm. These are real facts. Yeah. <laughs> we are three or four yeah. times more yeah. likely yeah. to be to be uh, 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 sectioned of mental health people. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, so the, the, all these facts, interestingly, <laughs> I was, I'm aware of it. Mm -hmm. I have been uh, promoting uh, black health equality in general, um, and a lot of my colleagues mm. who I've been dealing with, because I've been I've been blessed to, mm. well, it's still an ongoing process of getting into the system. Well, mm. but mm. I've been blessed to sit at certain tables where mm. policy is being made. Okay, good, good. Uh, and so I'm, I'm able to bring these things, and I always get the same reaction when I bring it, especially to my Caucasian colleagues or Asian colleagues about what's going on within our community, mm. about the inequalities that still 
exist. So I'm not oblivious of that. And one of the things I've said, uh, I did a, an interview with the BBC uh, on national B radio on national TV, and I said to them that look, there is an inherent mistrust, yeah, mm. of our community with the government. We, let's not beat about the bush. That is there. That's the fact. Mm. But what I also say to people is. You don't take your Volvo to a bicycle repair shop. All right, <laughs> definitely don't do that. All right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, you don't take your Xbox, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 go give it to uh, you know some some locksmith who doesn't know how to fix it. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear. If you get a WhatsApp message, there are also you need to check the legitimacy of a lot of these messages and, mm. and to be honest with you mm. i get all those messages as well <laughs> number one a lot of these messages come from the us where the regulation mm. is not as tight as what you get here in the uk mm -hmm. that's number one mm -hmm. so but also what i have them proposed to do is we started doing our own videos in order to bring uh uh not just a positive spin but a reality spin mm. because i don't go about trying to necessarily when i do those videos I don't try to say, oh, you must take the vaccine, A, B, C, D, X. No, mm. I tell you, these are the facts. Yeah, you make good. up your mind. You're an intelligent being. Mm. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. We're intelligent people. Yeah, Make up your mind. And people mm. closest to me, I do tell them, look, you need to get this vaccine, etc. Et yeah. I have a couple of patients that have jokingly threatened them and said, look, if you don't take this vaccine, I'm going to show up in your nightmares and it won't be pleasant. All right. <laughs> so, you know, there are people, but generally when I do yeah. health talks for, for, I just give you the facts, and these are these are the facts of what's going on. I have a lecturer who, who is a grandfather who died from a local church from catching COVID. What are you going to say to his children or his grandchildren? Are we going to be saying that because there was some WhatsApp video from somewhere that they've now lost their his daughter recently got married? The second daughter, the first daughter, got married some time ago. He became a grandfather. We were all celebrating it on Facebook. Mm. and then he catches covid and within two weeks is dead oh, so to, to go mm. back to your question mm. uh, I, i'm not sidestepping the fact that inequalities exist Come on. i'm not yeah, sidestepping the fact that mm. you know there has been mistrust and you know our people have been mistreated for years and years and years that's not the issue the issue at hand is now we are faced with a pandemic. I've even heard conspiracy theories like COVID-19 was manufactured in a lab. It may be true, it may not be true. I tell people that's really not my business. As a healthcare professional and as a pastor, this is the fact that we have on ground. We now have this deadly virus mm. that's ravaging our people. Mm. Okay. Because I was part of a group of people who drew up guidelines on the risk factors. Part of the risk factors is being black. Okay. <laughs> See yes. Okay. 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 Uh, 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 Here's a. You're gonna come. Okay. Cool. Why is that? Why is that? I'm, I'm gonna okay. have to come at you straight. Yeah. Yeah. So, yo. Yo. Go. Go. <laughs> I'm like. Whoa. 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 Uh, I'm brown. I'm not quite black. <laughs> well, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I always tell people that I'm a sweet chocolate color, but hey, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, cool. Ethnic minorities, mm. um, ba Bangladesh, Asian, mm. four times more likely to die or to fall very ill. Black people, three three times more likely to, to have morbidity or, uh, or to even die from COVID. If you're obese, uh, i.e. your BMI, yeah, it's over 35, you're more likely to get a fatality from COVID. If you have diabetes, your waist circumference is above 40 or is it 42? Yeah, I did, we did all the research, you see, this is not hearsay this is not this is not mm. government stuff these are actually black ethnic doctors doing the research okay cool that's good that's good okay cool we, we, we it's a group of eight of us we gathered all the papers we tended it our our um um what's it called our risk assessment tool you know to the glory of god is now being used in many hospitals within the northwest that's wow. what we've been that's what we managed to achieve black ethnic doctors wow Wow, wow, wow. This is not this is not some white people somewhere. This is not the government. We lost friends. Yeah. Are you yeah. are you with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. lost friends yeah. and that pushed us to say, look, we can't be doing this. We can't be losing more people. Okay, okay. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So be before <laughs> yeah, the government before the government came down. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? I was home over myself now, I got keep quiet, I go, yes, sir. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, be, yeah. Be, before be, mm. before the government came down with its own guidelines, mm. we already we already made our own. Yeah, that's proper. Based yeah. on, and I was I was privileged to be a part of that group. So we, this, these are the facts that we know on ground. That's why I said to people, why I said you don't take your Volvo to a bicycle repair shop? It's ask the people that ought to know. Mm. I've been a doctor for twenty odd years. Mm. I watched some of these videos. In fact, one of my one of my people uh, he's Jamaican, lovely guy. Um, he he he, he um, helps us out with church. With, with our music and everything mm. he sends me all these videos and for a long time i didn't respond because how many people can i respond to but mm -hmm. eventually he sends me this particular video mm. and then i send him i think i think i send him a three-page voice note <laughs> 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 and, the, and because I, I began to pick every every element of yeah yeah, yeah 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 i began to pick it apart mm. And then I said to him, I think I remember the final statement that I made, which I found a bit funny because I thought I was being harsh. I said, a year four, year five medical student will be able to discern better mm -hmm. with regards to these videos. So it's laughable to us, medical wow. professionals, some of these videos that come up, but obviously the general public are not medically trained. Yeah, 100 percent That's why you gotta be very careful when the information comes to you and they and they and they um and this um SARS explained, COVID explained videos are hitting the in the, in the woodwork. That's why I was really keen to to talk to uh, uh, a medical expert because you know um, um about this. Now in terms of um and I, I really appreciate the response um to that, but the um the breakdown of you know because obviously okay let's get to the nitty-gritty of the vaccine now for me a vaccine yeah or for me but for me you take the vaccine and then you know like them um, you have um you get vaccinated at school i mean you yeah. don't worry about it you just you don't worry about tb you don't worry about nothing you just go with your life you're covered i remember um um and i said to people when they got they went more wild about going to other countries and having you have to be vaccinated the fact to show is that i went to nigeria um around about 2000 and i had to have uh, i believe it was yellow fever or uh, malaria yeah you had you to have, have that you've got yeah. you got to have yellow fever uh, malaria before you go to that country so it's okay for that but not for covid but anyway that's another whole thing so i really appreciate the fact that you do need vaccines to go to certain areas anyway yeah but the thing is once i had my malaria i don't have to worry about it but it seems yeah. to be the, the the confusion part for myself is is okay i take the vaccination but i'm still worried about it i still yeah. can catch it is it a vaccine is it help <laughs> or does something to help yeah how no, I, I, I get that i get that so let, let, let's break it down okay let, go let's for me. break it down easily mm. first of all the covid 19 coronavirus 19 virus it took us by storm and by surprise to a mm. lot of us in the medical field mm. that's the truth <laughs> let, let's not yeah, let's yeah. not let's not lie about it. Mm. it it took us by surprise we didn't know what it was mm -hmm yeah mm -hmm. uh, whether whether it was created in a lab in wuhan or whether it was in monkeys or whether yeah, yeah. some guys from outer space brought it i, I don't know mm. it took us by surprise mm -hmm. so for the first part it was a case of trying to learn about it it's the same thing now even now with this omicron variant so you know back to one of the questions you asked about the fact that you know it's I, I knew from, from because it was isolated in South Africa, and I have friends mm. in South Africa, immediately we were corresponding and they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not as virulent, it's not as bad cool. as even Delta, but yeah. it's highly more infective than Delta. And that's wow. the problem. Wow. Okay. 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 Because yeah. you, you infect five people, yet maybe one of them is not immune covered or whatever. Mm -hmm. You infect 50 million people you're going to get, even if it's a 1% or not 0.1% fatality rate, that's still a lot of uh, people. A lot, a lot of people. Yeah. 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 So, so in terms of, in terms of the, this vaccine, what it has done so far. So to understand this, let's just quickly recap, take a step back about vaccines. What basic vaccine, uh, what, what immunology, what it does, mm. it comes into your body. Mm. It helps your body to stimulate an immune response. Mm -hmm. In, in our bodies, we've got these things called memory B and memory, uh, T, memory T cells. Mm -hmm. These are lymphocytes. These are like soldiers that are deployed. When an infection comes, the, these guys are deployed to that place. They learn about the body. The human body is fascinating. They learn about it. And then 
they develop a memory of it okay. so that next time you get that same infection to, this is all infections they then mount a massive immune response to counter it and keep it in check okay yeah Right, 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 right. That, that's how the body protects us. Mm, okay. So people dis- people discover that vaccines have been with us for thousands of years, right from the days in China when people were experimenting with cow dung and and <laughs> the pee from horses. Seriously, things like that. People, many, medical science is, has grown in leaps and bounds. Mm-hmm. So what this what the COVID vaccine is trying to do is to try and teach your body to say that, look, this thing is dangerous to you the next time you see it mount an immune response against it so what the vaccine does is that it reduces the ability of the virus to cause you harm listen i i have never had any chest problems in my life i've never smoked i've never but when i had covid i was wheezing like an asthmatic mm, okay, okay okay i was okay. struggling to breathe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now the bishop friend of mine who was coughing up blood <clears throat> because the COVID attacks the respiratory system. Mm. What the vaccine does is that all those severe now if I was if if my body wasn't uh, as strong if my lungs were not as strong if I had an underlying health problem I would have so it's not the virus itself that's actually killing people it's, that's what people don't understand it's the complications that it causes. Right. Yeah. 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 With you, with the rest of your body, it's a knock-on effect of, of the rest of your it, body. Yeah. It's the knock-on effect. It takes away your appetite. It makes you dehydrated. Mm. If you have kidney problems, that's a death sentence right there, because the kidneys need water to keep functioning. Are you with me? Yeah. Now the lady in Warrington, I saw her X-ray. Unfortunately, she passed away. Caucasian lady. She was only fifty-one. Mm. Lifelong smoker. One whole section of her lungs collapsed from mm. COVID okay the whole lung just collapsed so people need to understand that this little bug is not playing it's not it's not a joke yeah it's not the covid itself it's what it can cause knock afterwards it, it, it's the it's the knock on effect so ultimately what so, what the vaccine does it actually um it, it, it gives you a an idea it gives your body a a simulates to the body how how to how to fight against it so when it really gets the real deal it'll go okay i've fought you 40 before i'm gonna fight you this this way again i already know how to deal with you yeah a lot of my friends have caught covid after being vaccinated twice and it's a different illness when you've been vaccinated trust me okay okay it's, okay it's it's a totally different people ask what's the point because if you get the vaccine you can still catch covid mm. but the truth of the matter is from what we're getting all the information from the cdc and everybody there's less transmissibility when you do have the vaccine but more than that it's the fact that we're less poorly less likely to die when you've had the vaccine that is that's the point really, really, that's the, the that's the important part and so the question i think i mentioned before but we we didn't get to get to that part but you know when them, um, it's been mentioned that basically it's damaged people's immunity the vaccine mm-hmm. is that part of the the would you say the wives tales out there the, the um, uh, forgive me wives um yeah. the, you know what i'm saying you know what i mean you know what i'm saying the husband tales you know what i mean got husbands got sweet but ultimately yeah, you don't you, want the ladies writing to you now you, you, what you know, did you say you know what, I mean? what did you say in that show say it again this is what i'm saying or part of, just part of the general chitter chatter gossip basically part of the gossip is that something that's more a gossip thing um or is that it uh, was that something which we're finding out more about because people my my concern and a lot of people's concern when it comes to the yeah. vaccination is that fact yeah. is that basically that um we don't want to be test buddies so we, we so it seems like it took two weeks to come up with a vaccine and says take it and we go hold on a second it took a year to work that out it should, it should take about not even a year it should take up to a decade to work out a vaccine how we've done this in six months and how we're rolling this yeah. out and how we have all these companies f- all of a sudden got something in it how can i trust you and we watch programs like legend by will smith and we see people turn into zombies and we're like i don't want to go yo i do not want in five years time i'm dropping off and i'm turning weird because i took the vaccine because it was untested and untried um and whatsoever so that's i know i don't know if you you obviously you must have heard that (laughs) i've heard i've heard i i interestingly i had similar concerns which is why i then 
researched into it. Okay, good. So I, I don't want to go on and on, but go, go, in go. terms of the go vaccine, on. yeah, in terms of the vaccine lowering your immunity, mm. I don't know about that. I don't think that's even possible because the way the vaccine is meant to work, it stimulates an immune response, and so it should increase your immunity maybe someone's twisted a few words there but let's go back again to how quickly this vaccine was developed mm. now th- this is this is the thing i could write a thesis on this but i'll i'll just i'll give you the, the Love it. i'll give yeah, you the, yeah, the, yeah. The, it's the cool statements. man it's cool man so vaccines normally take you're right between five and ten years mm. and what is responsible for that length of time a the technology b the government approvals and c money Right. Now, what people need to realize is that technology has gone in leaps and bounds since them 20 years ago. Mm. So we've got a lot of this, a lot of technology that's being used, originally designed to fight cancer. Interestingly, uh, this is this is true. One of some of the guys who helped develop vaccines in the U.S. They're Nigerian boys. Wicked. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nigeria run things in the doctor things, you know. <laughs> yeah, my, shout out to my Nigerian brothers who, yeah, man. you know, they're, 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 they're there, you know, unfortunately, in, they're, they're there in, in many things, including crime and everything. But <laughs> the, the, these guys are black guys. Yeah, anyway, man. yeah. The, the main things that affect how quickly a vaccine is produced mm. number one, the technology, number two, the uh, funds, number mm. three, government approval. Yeah? Yeah. Now, in terms of COVID, you can imagine the whole world, including the Chinese. I, I, I think the only people who sort of stood aloof were the Russians. You had the Israelis, the yes. Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. The yeah. Chinese yeah. were the first people to send us yeah. what the COVID-19 virus looked like in terms of the mm-hmm. chemical component. Mm-hmm. They were desperate. They had tried. It was wiping them out, so they sent it to the whole world. Guys, if you know anything, if you can do better, yeah. please do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Can you believe the Chinese ever doing <laughs> anything like that about anything? <laughs> no, seriously. Open book. Let's man. be real here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open book. There we man. now know. We now know that the COVID was, as far as September uh, 2019, mm. it was affecting them in China, but they kept it under wraps. Right. Right, right, right. They kept it on the wraps. People were dying. Things were happening. Chinese were being stubborn about it. Yeah. By the time it by the time it came to December, and whole cities were almost being wiped out. Then they then they opened up. Then they opened up and sent out the DNA print of what the COVID because it was it was so now you had see some of the best scientists in the world in mm. Scandinavia, mm. in South Africa, mm. in the UK, mm-hmm. in America. In, in Israel, mm. in you know, in China, all of them were now conferencing and talking about this. Wow. The virus had no chance. Wow. Wow. Well, so so this is a big difference. We've never seen that level of cooperation before. So ultimately, money wasn't an issue. Tick box. Um, money wasn't the, an the issue, issue because even Trump in all his... I mean, I hope that... I, well, I am not a big fan of the former president. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Fair play to I, I can't, yeah, 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 I can't yeah, speak yeah. ill of people, but yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. even Donald Trump mm. put aside something like a billion dollars. The UK government was buying, was putting money down, millions of pounds down to help in this and even sending money to African countries. Look, if you guys can do anything... Let's, let's do go. it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So money was not an issue take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the time it takes and the process of approval yeah. where it would go through this um, hoop and that hoop, Yeah. all these guys were now talking to each other and said, look, is it safe? Is it been tested? I'll give you an example. I did a research on the Pfizer vaccine. Yeah. Now, the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca ones are the two first two vaccines to come out. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is yeah. facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. as as the 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 Oxford AstraZeneca was only tested within the UK and environs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. They, they used about thirty thousand test subjects, mm-hmm. um, and they did all the research that they had to do. The Pfizer used about forty six, forty seven thousand people over five or six different countries. Yeah, yeah. This is not something that was done in secret, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's almost like a world. It's 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 kind of almost like a world attack. 
But my only sneaky question is, and this is a sneaky little fact I, I, I hang on to, and I can be, yeah. I, you can dispel me right now. Um, my thing is, um, I said to my friend, I says, oh, but the thing is, if um, um, a fear that I hear that people have with taking the vaccine is, is that um, that you can't sue the companies if something goes wrong with your body. You just know, there's no, um, you know, when you can sue a company if it, if it affects your body. I, I myself, um, I'm, I'm a, I, a Grew up as young as epileptic, so I have I've, I'm used medication is was was part of you know epilim side of you know I've, yeah. and I've, I'm yeah. used to seeing side effects yeah and you make a yeah. decision my mom made a decision which one do you take that has that side effect this has this side effect that you know what I mean we're gonna go with this one and I went with um um side and you know when it was very new at the time and you know yeah. um I fortunately never suffered too much from these side effects so I understand like side effects is a serious thing now. People's biggest scariest things is, is side effects. But when the whispers are saying you can't even, you know what, things happen and companies obviously have their insurance policies in place and they cover, you know what I mean, things that go wrong. Yeah, that, that's just yeah. life in general. You know what I mean? Things happen yeah. in, in, in the workplace. Um, things had adverse reactions. But there was almost a case of, but you can't sue the companies. They've got a, you can't go back to them. And so it was a whole second. That means... If so if they go so they're not liable to anything if something goes wrong it feels like they're law to the south now that's the whisper that i heard now you could dispel that for me or you could conv- is, or is it, is no it's, it's 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 not a whisper it's yeah. it's the truth um okay. it, it that that happened yeah and there's a number of reasons why that happened mm-hmm. okay okay uh, you know we're now in a litigation culture where mm. everybody wants to sue everybody mm. for every little thing yeah um i mean uh, you know, I, I I heard about uh, that, that something actually that happened to me where somebody said we didn't we should have prescribed antibiotics four or five years ago and it's causing it's caused the child to have pain. Mm. Now there's nothing wrong with the child; child is fine, mm-hmm. but that we cause pain and so they want to sue us. Mm. Now, like I said before, when this pandemic happened, mm. world leaders were shaking. Yeah, 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 hundred 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 percent, bro. Yeah world leaders were like mm. this is not good mm. so they had to do something about how do we get this drug out so the pharmaceutical companies were like look we're just pharmaceutical companies mm. if we do this thing where we develop this vaccine and somebody decides to sue us we're going to lose all our money we're going to lose all our investments yes we're yeah, going to yeah. lose our livelihood yeah. mm. Mm. and pretty much so they put that as a clause to stay we need to protect ourselves from people who will try to take advantage of this situation mm. because every drug even paracetamol can have side effects yeah, can yeah. have side effects 100% yeah but you don't see people going to to the lawyer saying um i got ibuprofen i'm going to sue dr joe it doesn't happen mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they 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 insisted that the government does put the governments mm-hmm. put that in their law mm-hmm. so that they can then work on this and get this thing out now the government have a choice are we going to say don't put that clause in are we going to see more people die mm-hmm. so okay. it was a hard choice where these pharmaceutical companies look like them or not people have told me i i think they are capitalists and they they they're trying to get as much money from the situation as possible yeah. but at the end of the day they set up the company to make money yeah 100%. but they basically put this ring fence to protect themselves what the government has said is that because the vaccines are absolutely uh voluntary people have to make informed choices about them all the government then does is to make sure that the safety profile is absolutely top-notch you won't believe the amount of scrutiny so, that so this vaccine okay has cool gone under. okay in so, order yeah, to yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. so that. that's what the government have especially in the uk yeah. in the us things are slightly different mm. in the uk we are a lot more vigorous in terms of and there are certain things that you can't predict like for example the astrazeneca vaccine giving people uh blood clots mm. um, and also even causing allergic reactions a friend of mine had mm. really bad allergic reactions nobody could predict that it was something in the manufacturing they've now corrected it but okay. at that point in time it, medicine is not foolproof it, yeah, yeah, people need to yeah. understand yeah, yeah. that yeah things are not even your sodium valproate yeah. it has its side effects in some people it can cause low sodium it can cause a lot of things there's many side effects to some of these medications mm. it was to prevent it was in order not to slow down the work 
the of development. dealing with this yeah, yeah, worldwide yeah, 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 pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why okay. those things were brought in. It wasn't some kind of conspiracy theory. People, this, these companies do it all the time, my friend. Look, those guys make millions and millions of pounds. <laughs> Seriously, but, I mean, I said, I said to people, I said, there's a reason why certain communities that have loads of pharmacists just take notes. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Tell me about it, bro. This now you're speaking my language instead of yeah. sitting at the back line and yeah. saying, mm-hmm. No, why did let's let us go yeah, in there in, in, and let's and, go, let's go set up our own pharmaceutical companies, mate. This is what this is what it is. See, uh, I'm, I'm with, I'm with, uh, what's his name? Um. What's this guy? Um, um, 50, 50 cents. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 50, yeah. I'm with 50 cents. He said it got to a point that his mentality was so charged up and so changed that he no longer wanted to wear designer jeans. He wanted to buy the mall and the factory that was producing the jeans. Come on. That's the kind of mentality I want my people to have. 100%, brother. 1,000%. Now, I know time's running out and we're having a great conference. Guys, we never even think we're going to have this great. I think we're just vibing. This this, this, this is, this energy is, you know what, Dr. Joe, we're going to get you back and talk about different things. This, this Dr. Joe is going to be my boy, man. I'm going to reach out to him because, because <laughs> the vibe, the conversation got great and I think it's respectful and, and, and I'm getting, I'm getting some of the answers, answers definitely um, 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 answered here because obviously there's very much concerns when it comes to long-term health, when it comes to COVID and um, one, one um, so not COVID, um, long-term effects. We know, COVID long-term effects been thrown at us, but one of the questions is, what are the long-term effects of the vaccine? But as you says, it's almost a case of, is it like a learning curve that we're going through right now? And it's a sad thing to say, but it's, it's so it go, as I would say, you know what I mean? Uh, is that me being a bit, uh, a bit too flamboyant with you? Or is there, um, are they, you can't assess that without facts. I'm, a, I'm, I'm into maths and statistics, statistics and you can't yeah. judge something without data. You can't look at something for 10 years time. You cannot yeah, fast yeah. forward time unless I, I love anime and I love movies where they do tests and they kind of speed up ages and, and they do all these little yeah, funky yeah. things, but we can't do that. Unfortunately, time only can tell. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. I don't know about your, what, is that correct for me to say that? Yeah, no, the, the thing is, this, this is a legitimate concern about the vaccine in general, you know, in terms of the fact that we don't know what the long-term consequences are. But a lot of, uh, what I would say is this, first of all, a lot of the great drugs that we use, even the sodium valproate that you mentioned, yeah. when it came out about 15, 20 years ago, we yeah. didn't know what the long-term consequences mate, were. Mate, don't look at the now. <laughs> but we yeah, tested yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we looked at it. You see, people talk, the vaccine formula uh, we knew about covid proper in january mm. the vaccines only came out in september over mm. that period of time mm. it had gone through the five stages yeah. of vaccine testing come on yeah. albeit like the iphone sequences were shortened mm. but let me just say this, that the constituents of the vaccine itself i've mm. taken three jabs mm. and i'm gonna get a fourth one in april if i get offered one because the guys who produce the vaccines told us from the beginning yeah. that the efficacy is best only within the first six months. Nobody's hiding anything from anybody. Mm, mm, mm. I I got personally upset with the government because when they gave us these jabs, they told us that this is most effective after six months. If I was the government, by June this year, mm. I would have been pushing for a booster dose of people. Instead, until, when people started falling ill, that's when we're now rushing and talking booster and things like that. If you read about the vaccine, prop, okay. you read about the yeah. best efficiency yeah. is only the first six months. And that's part of the problem because after six months, your immunity to the, to, from the vaccine starts to wane. And so you can catch COVID again. It's, it's not going to be as bad, but you, you're more likely to get it and it's more likely to get side effects. So why didn't they just block that gap? But it's money we're talking. Money talks. And, you know, yeah, I can't yeah. speak for the government yeah, 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 or yeah. against the government. It, it's, but, it's, it's like so, a medical agenda and there's like a political agenda because people, we've seen the Donald Trumps, we've seen, um, they kind of make it a very politicized um, subject, which probably cripples you guys because you guys are trying to do it from a health perspective alone and you got guys using it where government doesn't do something and then labor turns around and says oh this and that and if you exactly. can no stop stoking exactly. it because it gets people angry people start coming out there yeah. we're not taking no covid jabs we're not exactly. you know what I mean? and you know a lot a lot of my colleagues we're, we're not and i i i i also 
I'm not interested in so much of the political agenda. I'm mm. totally apolitical when it comes to things like that. Mm. I have the people that I vote for. Mm. I'm not I'm not going to say it on camera, but mm. I, this for me is mm. all about how, how do we prevent mm. Aunt Nene from dying from this vaccine? Mm. How do we prevent Uncle Solo, mm. who who loves his beer, loves to have a little bit of a cigarette from mm. time to time, mm. is slightly overweight, mm. is black, yeah. Yeah. has a little bit of diabetes, and yeah. therefore is at high risk Jeez. from getting this mm. and going prematurely. Yeah. This this bishop that I said that died mm. was not even 60. Jeez. Come on. It's, 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 Come on. It's... it's so um, I'm just trying to I'm trying to find a way to close close off here. But you know, with um now something that I'm I'm, I'm really promoter of, from, you know, is health. You know, I mean, we as natural as possible. Uh, uh, myself yeah. now, who who has never smoked, never drank alcohol apart from eating in rum cake. Um, <laughs> um, I I, yeah, you I, I you know say <laughs> so so I play sports. I keep active. I make sure he, whatever my BMI yeah. BMI is 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 the cardio is brilliant and you know I'm I'm a genuine fit guy. You know, sorry guys, I sound like I'm bringing, bringing it myself. Yeah, um, but ultimately, I'm like this. I ain't scared of no COVID. I'd get it. Coffee out. Ugh, let's go again. You know what I mean. So for me, why aren't we promoting um, um, better health with people? To, is isn't better health? a better way of fighting against COVID, not better way. Isn't that something that, I don't know, why are we pushing that more than the boosters? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, why don't we say to people, listen, get your BMI down. I've heard down. this a lot. Yeah, cool. I've heard this okay, a lot. cool, I've cool. Heard this, I've heard this a lot. My answer to this is that mm. even before COVID, mm. we were, I was pushing for better health. Mm. So that's not the, so yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, the yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's something I said at the beginning and I'm going to repeat it. Mm. This particular virus is unpredictable. Mm. Okay, okay. I feel and then a lot of people who think they're fit mm. and they're well, <laughs> maybe may not be fit and well. My my close friend, a pastor in mm. Canada, mm. he had a stroke at the age of 42. <sighs> Unknown to him, he had an inherited form of, of cholesterol. This has nothing to do with what you eat. But it's an inherited form mm. of cholesterol, autosomal dominant, for those of you mm. who may know about genetics. Mm. Now, he didn't know until he started to have symptoms of a stroke and they rung me and I told them, get an ambulance. And, you know, they did. He was somewhere doing a missionary trip. There are a lot of people like him who have underlying conditions. I get this a lot. There are people who have, unfortunately, but there are people who have underlying health conditions. They don't know about it. Mm. COVID exposes them. Wow. Also, mm. you, you know what? It's good that you're healthy and all of that. Yeah. How many of us in our community are like you? Let's be honest. How many people, what's the percentage of healthy, fit individuals and in I'm, the Afro-Caribbean community? Mate, I'm... I can tell you, not a lot. Not a lot. That, <laughs> but not I, a lot, bro. And there's an assumption, mate. Just something about when we watch, we are the superior physically when it comes to football when it comes to sports and we almost use that to project on ourselves. and it's frustrating i'm 45 and i got challenged at a young age because of my church you said focus on this focus on forget sports and do this and whatever they're still yeah and i look now i'm 45 and my friend said to me um when i was 40 he goes but roger like i'm in church now and you're the only guy that that don't have a stomach like at your age you know what i mean and it's just a bad advertisement and we're fooling up and i always say people hear me if they hear me talk i says the best place to find the black christian on a sunday at three o'clock in the afternoon is eat as in, uh, eat as much as you want chinese or nando's and i guarantee you see half the church there you're going to see your brethren there guaranteed that's not good people you know what i'm saying you know that's just me you know what i mean no, you, you see, the health, in terms of health promotion, in terms of what you're saying, mm. people have asked me this question, why don't we use natural means and all of that? Mm. People forget that natural means and all of that is good. Yeah. Of course it's good. And of course we're promoting that. Yeah. Of course we want people to be more healthy. Mm. Of course we don't want people to you know, be obese and eat too much and not smoke. The problem is, if and when people get COVID, it mm. attacks the lungs. Mm. And if there's any slight flaw in your metabolism, it will expose it. Mm. 
Mm. I'm not willing to take that chance on my yeah, next yeah, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm not. I'm not willing to take that chance on my next brother, on my next sister, because mm. I think that a lot of people have untapped potential, unfinished business here on earth. Mm. We've got a lot of things that the Lord will want us to do. I don't think we should succumb to this uh, terrible virus for whatever reasons. Let's give it our best shot in terms of uh, in terms of what we use to combat it. In terms of long term. Um, effects. Effects, yeah. See, I have looked at all the components of the vaccine, and okay. that's why I match forward with confidence. Okay, okay. Vaccines, vaccines. If, if a vaccine cannot last more than six to nine months in your system, mm. medically speaking, it doesn't make sense that it could have long-term consequences for you. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bar. Are, are that's a bar me? right there, bro. That's a bar right there. <laughs> Man, come with some bars on me right there. <laughs> so that's medically speaking, you know. see, the va- yeah. after six, seven months, yeah, it's the not, efficacy, the yeah. strength of the vaccine mm. is waning because it's going out of your system. Got you. Got you. That's why we need a booster in the first place. Mm. Mm-hmm. So that logic of long term this and long term that mm. don't really hold no water from a medical perspective. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. And, and and <laughs> I know we're running out of time. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let. You know, a doctor, like like, listen, guys. I, uh, you know, you no. Know, this has been the most the most crazily cool conversation. I was actually quite because I'm looking at questions. I'm going to say, yo, the doctor's a bit scared to answer these questions, you know, because <laughs> I'm looking through these, you know, uh, um, and and I'm and but you you know. You, the, the, I know there's going to be a lot of people probably putting comments on there and and this and that and and and, 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 and putting out there and it's a strange one because somebody saw me wearing my mask in 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 church and they said to me, "You and I, I had a bit of a moan on the station about it. I said, "Vaja, you're more likely to get COVID." I said, "What? What do you mean? Because you're wearing a mask?" I said, "What do you mean? Because the carbon monoxide that you." you uh, that you breathe back in you know i mean over the two hours is going to increase the chance it, it basically you get covid through that and i'm i was like dude um i'm outside playing sports all the time and i i'm quite isolated in my studio environment and i just keep myself away from people uh where necessary i work with young people um anyway so yes i'm like so many things out there and it's thinking if i was any other mindset it could send me nervous and there's a lot of there's a lot of social there's a lot of bullying going on especially within the church yeah, circles yeah. you feel like you got no faith when it comes to if you wear a mask in church and they're saying oh boris johnson ain't got a clue yeah don't wear masks oh don't sing you know I me mean, whatever so yeah this is just yo these are the walls but this and i'm like dudes um covid is killing people yeah yeah people it's affected people i see the trauma how do you know and there's the lack of respect towards it you know what i mean a lack of respect within the circles that's my personal opinion people you can beat me down for that but that's my personal thing but on another question then um last question so you did give us a, a a hint of which one to take <laughs> <laughs> which is now you, which, now which, you which, proper put me on the spot <laughs> which well, is the one which one did you get back under from <laughs> it, it, it's, an, it's an easy question actually to answer okay all right cool it's very easy, very, very easy. Mm. If you are gonna if you must choose one, mm. purely based on the fact that more research has been done on it, more people were 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 uh, used for the vaccine trials. Mm. If you must pick one on that basis, mm. it's the Pfizer one. Okay, cool, 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 and cool. That's cool. why I personally I've had three Pfizers. So I'm not I'm not telling you what I'm not doing. The Moderna vaccine comes close. Mm. The AstraZeneca is also good, except for these tweaks that it, they need to do those tweaks um, mm. as soon as possible. Just you know, so <laughs> if if you must if you must put me on the spot, yeah, I would say go with the Pfizer, Pfizer. one. Mm. But they're, they're all they're all they're all being approved by the uh, JCVI, the vaccine people uh, that that coordinate the UK. Uh, talking, just going back a little bit about things, natural things that people can do. Mm. Yes, exercise is good. Eating well is good. Now that this is we're in the flu season, mm. please don't forget to take your vitamin D. It helps you to fight immunity, and you can take up to twenty thousand units per week. It's over the counter. You can get it on Amazon. Cool. Twenty thousand units per week of vitamin D. You can also take a vitamin C tablet or uh, capsule once every mm. once every day. One thousand milligrams. All those things help. Mm. Those things help to build your natural immunity. Mm. But what builds your COVID immunity, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, mm. 
is still the vaccine, the vaccine that okay, trumps cool. this. So me drinking drinking um, one litre of cranberry juice, which is good for your immunity, is is is, is not the way, you know me, and, and whatever. Do it's wait. good. It will prevent water infections. It's good for preventing water infections, but I don't think it will have any effect on COVID. <laughs> I know because it's cold. I have to take a number of stops. Yeah. <laughs> look, look, red, red wine. Red wine is also good for your arteries, by the way. Okay. All right. So, guys, we have communion every week. Yeah. So, we have communion. Have the. <laughs> have, have the pizz- some people have two helpings of communion. <laughs> yeah, man. Have the pizzazz uh, version of uh, communion. Oranges. Oh, Oranges. Okay. Anything that contains citrus, they okay, have yeah, antioxidants yeah, yeah. in them okay cool, they, cool, cool, they, cool, cool. they help to they help to boost your immunity mm. they pineapple oranges they help this is one of the reasons why mm. some of the guys in 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 the caribbeans and in nigeria are not having covid as much as what because we are having because of the natural here. pure fruit that natural taking, you've, healthy yeah stuff yeah. that they, they have regularly mm. that we have to buy or take extra mm. just to keep up and it's not even the real version it's not fresh from the tree when you get it fresh exactly. from the tree it's it's the the God made it's, version. It's, right it's, 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 it's coming it's, straight at you. 100%. This, uh, man, it's the God made. Like, I never forget going to the Caribbean. I went to Jamaica and um, and when I had a. And my dad always says he never ate banana when he came over here from when he first came. He spat it out. Um, I was like, what are you about? What are you about? And, and I eat banana over here. When I ate banana in Jamaica, I felt like it was fermented. It was like this is banana this tastes totally different to what it is in the uk totally ripened on the tree mango ripened on the tree but anyway sorry guys so we're getting excited about food and and and, 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 and dr joe needs to do that he needs to have his have his food there yeah um but listen dr joe i i, I know we're gonna get feedback on this conversation and i really do appreciate your time because i know this extra time that you're putting in to speak and shout out to your people we're going to be pushing this video out there in the community um if you guys didn't get any more questions i can definitely arrange in the future you know to to speak to to dr joe about vc do list it out if i've missed out something presenters beat me up and let me speak to <laughs> and, and, we'll, and i get the questions out over to, to dr joni maybe even be able to do some videos and to explaining to within our community because it's a major concern within the african caribbean community when we're hearing all sorts of information and i don't know which one to trust and i appreciate your your passion towards um um, giving us medical literacy in terms of our, our community so my, my pleasure brother my pleasure but, anytime just just grab me it's been a great pleasure yeah and fun actually chatting to you today <laughs> <laughs> listen i i, I guys I, 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 I just got soft you know <laughs> listen truth is truth and i appreciate truth and i can recognize in my spirit truth is coming through and you know and consistency coming through from the information that i've i've looked and in what you've said um, um doctor i'm trying to I'm trying to avoid saying bishop you know but doctor <laughs> <laughs> but that you know we do appreciate that and and it's truly a small world i know that so some of our community knows you well so uh nothing but love sir yeah and guys take care Bless listen up. Make an informed decision about taking the jab. 100%. This is Roger. Over now. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, this is your Bishop. This is your Bishop from Rock Solid. Thank you so much for watching us on YouTube. Thank you so much for clicking and subscribing and also sending this videos, these videos to other people as well. We are so hungry to get your support. So remember, check us out on uh, our website and also check us out on Insta and wherever you want to find us on Spotify. You can play us all day as well. And just make sure that you are supporting this channel that we are developing uh, our agenda towards music of black origin and that is gospel music music with a message so please 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 walk with us on this journey bye now